Hi, this is Zubin Vavaina from A to Z Graphology and welcome to this video. Now we are going to learn about the capital letter M. This letter structure has got a zigzag pattern which is very unique and when we compare that to the 7 chakra system, we are going to have some really interesting results. You must observe the way I am making the letter M. There are 4 vertical lines and vertical lines can either have a flexor which is a downward stroke or an extensor which is an upward stroke. So observe the stroke and your explanation and understanding of the letter M will be enhanced. This is a sequence of flexors and extensors which I have chosen to show you. You may find people having all flexors in their M or maybe just one out of all the other extensors. So you have to calculate flexor and extensor properly and then accordingly analyze. For this purpose of the video we are studying about an extensor, flexor, extensor and flexor. This means that the way a person is wanting to initiate a habit just like the small m represents habit but at a regular daily life attribute this is the initiation of a habit but in a starting enthusiastic energy when you are starting to make a habit you need to be quite analytical about what you want to become regular at means that you need to understand the pros and cons of every habit that you are going to initiate there is no habit that doesn't have its side effects maybe you want to have a good health and that doesn't look like any side effect but the discipline when you come to actually do the habit you come to know that there is a lot of distractions so the distraction becomes a negativity every habit has its difficulty has its border of comfort zone that you need to cross for crossing that we need to have a strong mind which makes sure that it is able to not only think about things at a crown level thought which we can see here as an angle but it goes down to the instinctive gut feelings and it uses that also analytically goes back up to the thought process to recheck so there is literally a analytical thought here that gets kind of confirmed and checked with the instinct and then all this is confirmed again with the mental thought processes this is the nature of a thought or a mind what it goes through when it's starting to initiate a habit if you are starting to have a habit of watching these videos for learning purposes or to gain some new knowledge there's going to be the joy of learning but then there's a discipline of using this time frame for this video rather than something else so the decision has to be quite sharp what would happen if the letter M capital letter M has got a smooth formation have you observed this M somewhere I am sure you have heard of McDonald's. McDonald's has got an M structure which has got the humps which are quite curved on the top and in a certain way retraced over here. So it shows that their habit formation of their corporate structure or the way they are able to set up their restaurants or the way they are doing their work is very well set. The top level mind or crown chakra thoughts are in a way smooth and soft it shows that they are in no hurry to make a decision at a mental level and their instinctive gut feelings are, are uh, performed in a certain way that they are used to there is no angle over here an angle makes a person analytical but a retrace when a person has a retrace over here that is where the person wants to be sure about what they are doing. They are kind of rechecking what they are doing. So it makes the person with this kind of M want to be sure about the way they are creating a habit. 
so when these people make a habit if they are in a system of regular actions to be carried out regularly then things work out fine but if they are in a system that requires them to be mentally sharp and the habit or the nature of the habit is constantly changing then this letter m may not be sharp enough to handle the new unforeseen changes what other capital m's can we see since there are many lines here there are many formations that letter m can be written what if the person has capital m with the central angle not going all the way deep but it is halfway through now you have to understand that which chakra that angle is coordinating with right now in this diagram it seems to be coordinating with the green chakra that means that the nature of this person's habit formations and creations for the long term decisions are going to be having a slight emotional aspect to it but how is it possible for a person to be analytical with emotions maybe he is trying to be clear about the emotions that he wants to feel while setting out on the habit let's take for example the habit of watching this videos if your emotion is to just have fun and enjoy then this letter m will allow you to have that emotion consistently as you learn but if you're feeling like being a bit serious about graphology and you want to take it really assertively then your emotions are going to be in a more focused manner you're going to feel a bit serious whenever these videos come on and that habit is going to be created so in the previous m where we saw the middle angle going all the way deep that is where we were checking out the instinctive feeling of the person but here it is about the emotion as it gets higher now as it went higher now the person's nature of habit formation is about communication or he wants to communicate something so let's take for example if you're watching news regularly or if you're having a regular habit of debate or talking or giving lectures this kind of m may be slightly better where the angle is not very deep but at the voice level what if the person let's answer this question now what if the person has all flexors in his capital m flexor 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 and flexor all these strokes are going down all the strokes are going down what is the nature of a flexor indicate flexor means taking when i write a flexor on the paper it is directing a thought towards me the nature of the experience is something coming towards me and in one letter we are having four lines coming towards you and it may look like an angle has been made but actually there is no angle made i have written the lines in such a way that it looks like an angle so it looks like the person is being analytical but there's a very sharp selfishness being invoked over here this person's nature of habit that is initiated with a selfish motive is selfishness bad maybe not maybe you just want to work hard and earn the money that you feel you deserve nothing wrong in that but it does make the whole act feel that like it's making you more important than everything else if your society or your surroundings is happy with that or is is able to relate to it like maybe like a stock market broker he is in the stock market to get the benefit for him he is not working for somebody else if you are a banker if you are a financial advisor you want the money to flow towards you you want the profits to flow towards you you don't care about anybody else's accounts you care about your benefit so that is where probably this letter m may be beneficial but imagine if you are a teacher 
if you are a teacher who is having this kind of M and you only want to take when the joy of teaching is about expression and giving, then you may have a problem. So the correct M in the correct profession or the correct habit formation may actually give you a very good head start. What about the capital letter M which has at least one extensor, kind of like this. So flexor, flexor, extensor and flexor. Now if you think about it, this is not actually an angle. Only the angle made is these two. So the actual analytical ability started at the emotional level and went up to the crown thought level. The other one was by chance. Looks like an angle. What if the person is careless at this point? It has a high possibility of becoming a crossover. When a person does an all flexor M or the one which we saw here with at least one extensor, the chances of crossover increases where you are supposed to be analytical and you are trying you should be judging things correctly now you're just questioning things you're probably questioning why am i starting this habit you're conflicted in your mind you're conflicted at the instinct and you're conflicted at the uh, thought level again so if you're in a job that you don't like if you're doing work that you really don't want if you're in a career option that you really didn't like if you're in a relationship that you regret regret Starting an enthusiastic thought process with regret is probably seen over here. Check out the people's handwriting who have this letter structure M and ask them what is the biggest regret that you have. Or if you could change a habit, what habit would you change? Normally, this question invokes other questions which may trigger a certain debate. Alright? Try to do this experiment and see how people respond. Of course, be very gentle with such people because a crossover could mean an argument which may not be always cordial. Which other letter M can you think of? I know a certain friend of mine who used to write an M like this. Have you seen this kind of M? I'm not sure if you have, but if you see this kind of M, now just imagine what the person is missing out on and what the person has replaced it with. This is a normal M which we know with angles and sharp lines. And this is a person who has written an M which is absolutely absurd. If you did not know English, you would not know this is capital M. And probably while looking at it right now, you are wondering how the hell did this person write this letter M. So, Letter M stands for initiating a habit or initiating the starting energies of something which is going to be done regularly. And this letter M shows that the person has got a complicated thought process when he is creating a habit. This could be again replicated in another form of a loop. Imagine the person wrote the M like this. Where he was supposed to be analytical, there he is trying to be creative and in this manner he is probably causing a complication rather than a decision. People with such mindsets at the initiating part of their habits are rather confused rather than being focused and sometimes it is more to do with their emotions and the lack of clarity of what they want out of the habit that causes such things to happen. Please confirm these two structures and what I have explained with, with me because this is still under research and I want to know more about these people. Thank you for watching this video and keep analyzing handwritings and come to know the person better. I will see you in the next one.